the brewmaster with Tanea Creek Brewery are in the studio with more on this. Now that I got all, all that out, you guys can explain exactly what's going on. But that bus is pretty cool. Isn't it pretty cool? Yeah, yeah. and it's parked up front for you to all of you today, Dana. <laughs> and yeah, I'm the ambassador for Tullamore Dew Irish Whiskey, and we're we're on a quest right. to visit uh, as many states as possible in the United States, seeking out really great Dew and a Brew pairings. I love because it because whiskey and beer ultimately pair really well together. Which you know I would have never thought of being like a female who doesn't drink too. <laughs> often. Yeah, I like a good beer and I like a good whiskey, but never thought about really putting them together. Right, yeah, and it's a, it's a really an experience for consumers, you know, to, to seek out really great uh, whiskey and beer pairings and ultimately they are malt cousins. They're right. made in a very, very similar way, which is why it's been great to visit Tanea Creek here and see what those guys do uh, so well at their brewery. Now, this is really cool. So you guys worked together and you came up mm -hmm. with, what, the Phoenix Stout? Phoenix Stout. All right, so yeah. what what's the deal there? Um, so it's our base beer, which is our Holly Notes Oatmeal Stout, mm -hmm. and what we did was took uh, French uh, oak spirals, soak those in vanilla beans in the mm. Phoenix whiskey, and then blended that back into the beer itself. So this is actually an actual mixture of both. Uh, correct. Okay. Yeah, components of you know, like I said, the oak and the uh, the the Phoenix. And now this is only offered so at when you pick the place and they actually come up with the, the like something like the Phoenix style. It's only available limited, right? Correct. Yeah, there's only two kegs of this available. Two kegs. Just That's it. it. Two kegs. Yeah, oh you got in, gotta get in there really, really quickly. Yeah. <laughs> One is at the brewery, of course, and then another at Atomic Liquors downtown here in Las Vegas. So, All right. So you um, want to show us what it looks like? Yeah, absolutely. While she's still talking. Sure. So yeah. And the idea here, you know, um, Anthony and the guys were inspired by the flavor profiles of Tullamore Dew Phoenix, and mm -hmm. um, we've got a, a beautiful spice notes on there on the finish of Phoenix and for that reason this particular stout just really enhances those flavors okay. and that's what it's about you know it's about taking the components of each one and, it, and, and working with, with the two so that they enhance each other and that they provide a really really great tasting experience. I love it and it's so dark. Absolutely yeah. Interesting. It kind of looks like Guinness. Similar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> looks yeah, very like. Similar styles. Yeah. yeah so. Uh, and so we can go to Tanea Creek which is located where? Uh, 831 West Bonanza. Okay, and then um, Atomic Liquors? Uh, Fremont and 9th Street, I believe it is. Yep. Perfect. A couple miles from us. And you guys are going on to the next city. Where's the next city? Yeah, next stop is Denver. And uh, like you saw, the vehicle is taking us from A to B. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, road miles being clocked up. I love uh, it. Denver's next, then on to Phoenix, and then we move east, um, heading basically for New York, mm -hmm. finishing in Chicago on St. Patrick's Day. You can follow all the shenanigans, and okay. I do say shenanigans, mm -hmm. uh, at Tullamore Dew US. Yes, or doing a brew.com. The way you say shenanigans, you just can't beat it, right? It's so Irish. You can see the glint in my eye. I, I'm all about the shenanigans. I love it. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Thank you very much. Great. Stay with us. We'll be back after this.